Ayes have it. Members, I believe that the next debate which members wish to have is on the local government and environment for the Ministry. Police. Sorry, police, I missed, uh, my apologies, yes. Police. police it is. So it's the Law and Order Committee on New Zealand Police. Yeah. Right. Mm. Want me to go? All right. um, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Honourable Ian Tolley. So, Mr Chairman, the police too have had an outstanding year. Uh, this country oh, is yes. well served by its over 12,000 police employees. And again, I want to take this opportunity to thank them for all their hard work throughout the year uh, and to congratulate them for the results that they are getting um, in keeping this, this country safe and protecting our communities. So we have seen over the last three years a continual reduction in recorded crime, totalling 17.4% reduction in recorded crime. That is a 33-year low. That is the proof of the work that the police are doing. Now, I know that there are people in this House that hark back to the good old days. Actually, policing is now a very technologically-based um, service. It uses good information. We have got our police are the best equipped they have ever been, and they are looking after our communities and keeping them safe in all sorts of different ways that perhaps weren't even dreamed of uh, five or six years ago. I just want to touch on a couple. Our neighbourhood policing teams, 34 of them across the country, they are working in our most vulnerable communities. These are places where we see huge amounts of crime committed again and again and again on the same victims. So they are focused on those, those communities that are continually re-victimised by a small number of criminals. They are working in each of those communities, looking, working with the communities to find ways to address the drivers of crime. In some parts, it's about drug and alcohol. There's no doubt about that. In other parts, um, I, some of the ones I've visited have talked about very common problem is lack of access to uh, um, uh, supermarkets. So they have to do all their shopping at a, a grocery store where everything's much more expensive and their money isn't going far enough. So, you know, community vans, mobile vans, etc., transport made available um, to take people to the shops. But they, there's a whole raft of things getting rid of graffiti, um, working with people to keep their houses safe, etc. Boy racer offences. I announced not long ago that we have seen them halved, halved in the time since we introduced that piece of legislation. Now that's not about catching young people and crushing their cars. That is about keeping communities safe, both from the nuisance value that those boy racers create in the, in the communities they, they tear around, but also in some of the innocent bystanders and the innocent passengers that have been killed or maimed by the excessive speeds um, that these boy racers uh, have, um, have seen. We've seen deaths of 15 to 24-year-olds drop, Mr Chairman, from 105 when we introduced the legislation down to 66. I also announced an increase in foot patrols. This is about having the police much more visible and out in our communities where they can prevent crime from happening. 155 increase in, over the last couple of years in the in number of foot patrols. So in 2011, they had for, just on 41,000 um, foot patrols. Now, in 2013, 104,000. And when I go around New Zealand and talk to people about uh, safety in their community, it's the first thing people say to me is that the police are much more visible. They see them out on the streets, walking around, talking to people and keeping an eye on the hot spots. The other thing I'd say, Mr Speaker, is a programme called Turning the Tide. Very quickly, this is working with iwi to address the uh, drivers of crime in the Maori community. And we are seeing some enormous successes. If I just talk about my own electorate uh, of East Coast, in Gisborne, uh, the police have placed a policewoman inside 
the Runanga of Ngāti Parau, and she is doing an outstanding job working with her iwi, trying to prevent crime, trying to keep people safe. Fantastic garden programme she's got running with um, some of the uh, gang members in Kaiti, uh, and she's got them into education, getting some skills and training, kids at school, all sorts of incredible things that these people are, are working on the ground quietly, often unseen out in our communities. We are lucky, Mr Chairman, to have such a fantastic police service that is working to keep New Zealanders safe. Uh, the question is that the report of the Law and Order Committee uh, on the 2012-13 financial review of the New Zealand Police be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. Members, I understand that the next financial review...